Hello, my name is Green, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. We are cruising our way through Hermitville, where something quite drastic has happened. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can, look at... I, I don't know what it is. I'm not sure I want to know what it is. But we're sure going to find out. But something's a bit weird today. And I'm not sure if you would notice immediately because everything seems absolutely dandy. But look what happens uh, when I hold something. <laughs> That's where my skin, my skin is on backwards. And I thought I could have a little bit of fun at the start of this episode messing with a couple of the people online today. They have no idea. I'm gonna go and see if I can find them somewhere in the world and see if I can trick them with this trick that I demonstrated in my last videos, how to mess with your friends. But let's go and see if we can find some of them and just freak them out a little bit. See what happens. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I think the key here is not to be seen before you go down. Because obviously if I'm wearing my armor, it's very, very obvious what I've done. I need to be able to walk backwards towards them to make this work. Now, I expect that Stress is in her castle somewhere. Okay, she's probably been alerted to, to where I am. I need nothing in my hands at all. And this is how we're going to go in. So I'm going to walk in backwards. I Oh, this is... It's difficult to drive this one. So let's... Where's the door? Over there. This is a lot harder than it looks because I don't know what's in front of me at all. If I follow this down, and I also don't know where Stress is either. She was right here somewhere. Ah, there she is. There she is. <laughs> Let's see if I could trick her. <laughs> Everything's normal here. <laughs> and now... <laughs> <laughs> and she figured she's figured it out. <laughs> I'm just don't worry, don't mind me, stress. I'm just laying. I'm just laying around. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna fall asleep here. To be honest, this is this is actually quite comfortable. Well, I'll I'll be off then. I'll be off. <laughs> I can't see where the door is. It's got to look absolutely hilarious. Right, let's see if we can find Ren. Should really check where people are before I go looking for them. Oh, this is easier. Oh, this is so much easier. Okay. I'm such a fool. I've been <laughs> I've been driving backwards the whole time. Well, I I'm still walking backwards. This is really confusing, but I've pressed F5 twice. Right? This is me walking forwards, this is me walking backwards, but it looks exactly the same and I can actually see where I'm going. Oh, I'm such a fool. Okay, right, now... <laughs> I don't think Ren is here. He must be at his actual base. Now, do I dare try and fly? Uh, 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 yeah, flying backwards is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like I'm being dragged along and I'm <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to go and find Ren wherever he is. I don't know exactly which way it is to the to the island anymore. Oh this is this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of stupid things. Okay, so we're gonna backstroke glide into Ren's base. Maybe he's around here somewhere. He's there, he's there, he's there. Now to take off any indication. And now we just walk forwards. It's as easy as that, although I'm now stuck in here. Great. So we just walk backwards towards Ren. Now don't fall for it. I cannot punch him because punching is behind me like this. <laughs> he has no idea we're here. Talking of weird skins, what's Ren's skin? What the heck? Okay, so I've just got a backwards skin on. Ren's a, Ren's a rat. <laughs> Ren's straight up a rat. He's uh, should be calling himself Ren the Rat now. 
Oh, he's gone up there. How do I can't get up there? I can't get up there or the game will be given away. I can't sprint either or the game will also be given away. <laughs> okay, is it time to reveal what's going on here? <laughs> Let's get real close. Let's get real close to him. <laughs> he doesn't- he's just showing me his face or something. Oh, it's a little rat cage. Right, now- now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to figure it out. <laughs> this is literally endless fun. Oh, he's been he's been fooled for about two minutes now, thinking that I'm just looking at him. <laughs> I think both of us, me and Ren win weird skin. It is, it is really unsettling. If you're on the other side of this, it's really, really unsettling. <laughs> oh man, this is, uh, it's so simple yet so genius at the same time. <laughs> Ren doesn't like it. Now, where can I find X I Zuma? on the server. He's like- oh, there he is. He's there. Let's see if I can now get him. Need nothing in my hands. <laughs> Hi. Nothing- nothing to see here. I, I need you to pay attention to me, X. I can't get up on his level. I need him to come back. I need him to come here, otherwise my whole cover's blown. I can't jump up here. Oh no! Oh no! There's a hole! There's a hole! There's a... Oh no! That did not go to plan at all. I don't think he noticed. I don't think he noticed at all that there was some. X has just completely ignored the fact that I'm on backwards. No, I think I think X is totally oblivious to this. I don't know how. It really looks like it. I'm I'm falling. I'm genuinely falling. <laughs> looks like I'm gonna crash. No. <laughs> if I could make Elytra invisible, this would look amazing. Okay, I think that that's enough backwards fun for today. So let's go back to the village and check out the monstrosity that Scar made. I was too busy being backwards to take a look. This. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. Is it a. What is. Is it a plant? I think it's a plant. It's connected to the plant, but I can't help but think it looks like a. Some sort of demonic frog type thing. Oh my goodness. It's a. You could have made this look a bit more friendly, Scar. So this is a friendly build off. We're not here to scare people. Oh my goodness. So there's the boulder. He hasn't touched that, but he's gone and made a giant... Oh my word. He's got like a giant claw or like a venomous thing. It looks like a Venus flytrap thing and it's it's spitting acid and it spit acid all the way up into Mumbo's rocket and it spit acid on my build. I think I'm gonna have to clean that up otherwise it's gonna melt or maybe it should just melt part of it as I clean it up. I like this build to really tell a story, and the fact that this is corrosive, that that cannot be good for my build. That cannot be good for my build. I don't even know what to do. How do you res- Honestly, this is a genuine question. How do you respond to this? How do you respond to this? <laughs> is he even at the top as well? Is he taller than my- Oh, he is. These eyes are totally- wait, let's- let's do the number check. 196. Oh, if I remember correctly, I'm 195 and a half. I'm at 190, and he's at 195. He's five blocks taller than me, with his eyeballs. What do I do? How do I respond? I took some time just to think about how I could retaliate to the giant plant and Iskal's already done it. Iskal has already retaliated. This build off is moving incredibly quickly. I cannot keep up. So Mumbo's rocket has now gone because Iskal has built a giant magnet that dragged it back down. And I can't help but notice it's pointing directly where my base should be. 
So, I can't help but feel there's probably a plan in place here to disturb what I'm going to be doing. Not only that, but he's deflected the laser once more and <laughs> sent it right over to this eyeball. So, <laughs> I had a look earlier and I found this. The eyeball actually has fallen off the plant and it's over here. It's just poking out of a tree and it looks really weird. <laughs> But it's interesting because the eyeball is actually the top of Scar's build. So, in typical build-off fashion, we need to get rid of this particular eyeball. And I've been trying to figure out how. And then I noticed this. This is still in the air. And still theoretically travelling. So, I'm thinking what we do is we bounce it back right at that eyeball. The plant will then lose its sight, and then the plant will not be able to spit acid at us anymore. Or, in theory. But I also think that this I've left for so long now, it has to have consequences. Let's get into a quick time lapse of the retaliation that needs to occur here. Thank goodness for the replay mod, because this is going to look a lot nicer this way. So, the acid has melted away, Coincidentally, my least favourite part of the build, that random tower that I couldn't get right. So it has melted it away and I've left some acid to kind of show that off a little bit. And then I've gone and started to build my house even taller than it already is. And it's really starting to get a little bit top heavy. I like to make parts of the build a bit thicker than others, so this bit is going quite wide in comparison to some of the other parts. And at this point, it really looks like it should have fallen over a long time ago. But thankfully, because of the style, it still works. It does take quite a lot of tweaking. You have to get the roof style just right. And overall, I think I've done that pretty well. I'm not going to detail it today, and I'll explain later on. But what we did say earlier was we noticed this big bit of acid going in the air. And since the rocket's gone, I'm just going to repel it with a giant baton or badminton racket full of slime, and then I'm just going to add a few flames underneath. I don't expect that slime thing to remain there for very long at all, so I didn't spend too much time on it. I imagine it's going to get in the way of Mumbo, so I'm going to assume that that can just be blown up and removed at any point. So let's pretend that I'm the spit, boing, I bounce off of that, and I suddenly make my way over to the giant plant, which I believe is called Skara, and I then melt away its other eyeball. And I've basically transferred all of those blocks over here so that this makes sense. At the moment, this build-off has told an amazing story, and I can't wait to see where it goes. <laughs> Take a look at this. It's absolutely insane. This build-off is really getting out of hand, and that looks precarious. That looks like it could actually fall down. I haven't had time to finish all the detailing. I'm afraid I'm going to have to do that off-camera in the next couple of days. But we are once again straight at the top. This... Oh, look how sad. <laughs> look how sad this looks now. He looks a lot less threatening without the eyes. <laughs> Between me and Iskow, this plant suddenly seems a lot less scary. So, we've built up, we are now back on top, we are leading this build off, although I am being chased quite, quite firmly by, by Scar and Iskal, although I'm not sure what Iskal's plan is anymore, I don't know how he's going to build with this giant magnet and rocket involved, it's a very suspicious, very, very suspicious. Either way, I feel pretty confident that we can make it to build height first. That really doesn't count as my base. This isn't my actual house in any way. I just used this to bounce it off. You really should be able to bounce. Sorry, like, you just hit it and take damage. That's kind of lame. I wish in Minecraft you, you could fly top speed, boosh, and it bounces off, but unfortunately not the case. So, I'm pretty happy. I am pretty happy. We are back on top. We have taken out whatever this monstrosity is. <laughs> and I think we've placed ourselves quite high enough. The person that is actually most behind in all of this is Sweet Mustache Mumbo Jumbo, who has been thoroughly left behind. Look at this. He needs to make a big play to make it back. He's like three leagues away. Look, he doesn't even go up to the top of the balloon there, so he's got to get... Oh, he, he, 
I think he's being left behind. He's going to have to think of something very smart to be able to get back up here. So let's head back into the old lands because I've got some more work to do on Sahara. And this is going to sort of set up what I want to do in my next episode. Now that Sahara fully functions and works, and we've even had a few customers. Let's see how many diamonds there are in here. Okay, not so many, but 29 diamonds isn't bad, isn't bad. It's nowhere near what we spent on the place, but we're only just getting started. Remember, we don't have all that much stock. We are adding more and more things very slowly. We definitely need some more golden carrots in here. Looks like we're almost out. And then we need to get more items in here. So one of the things that I'm basically tasked with, because I'm not very good at redstone, surprise, shock, I'm not very good at redstone, so I'm not qualified to make all the farms, because most of these things come from farms, like the ice, uh, the, the beacons, all of those stuff, they're farmable. So I'm in charge of the stuff that's not farmable. So what we're going to go and do is a little bit of a grind, and we're going to go and grab a lot of gravel, so that we can stock up Sahara with said gravel, and maybe even some concrete and things like that. So let's, let's get some gravel. So this isn't going to be the most exciting time lapse, and fortunately it's only going to last about 20 more seconds, so don't worry about it at all. But this is the sort of thing that we have to do off camera all the time. Maybe not to this extent, because I am basically removing every gravel block in this area. This entire gravel pit is now mine, and this isn't even half of it. I only time lapsed a small portion of it, just to give you a taste of what this is like. So yeah, we dug some gravel. Here we go. Look at all of this. That's how many shulker boxes? 13? Oh, this one's not full, but most of these are full of gravel, which is quite a lot. I think it will take a long time to sell this much gravel. And some of this, of course, will be used for concrete, etc. This is the boring part of making Hermitcraft videos. You've got to do things like collect a lot of gravel. I spent about an hour and a half just shoveling gravel. Yeah, not the best, but it has to be done sometimes, and now it is. So I can now transport all of this over to the stock room so that Iskal can load it into the machine, because I don't know how to do all that stuff. There we go, so let's pop all of these in there, and that takes care of that. So I do want to start stocking a little something something every single episode if I can. So I did say that all of this would end up setting up what I want to do in my next episode. And unfortunately I don't have time for it today, however, getting all that gravel and getting all the stock in our shop will allow me to do that. So what I want to work on next episode is advertising. In a big way, I want to advertise hashtag shop at Sahara. Now, in order to do that, we're going to have to stock things, and there's things that we, we're not stocking that we definitely could be. One of those is all of the things that are in Mumbo's farming area. Like all of the stuff over here, so obviously Mumbo's got all of his machines. It looks like he's got another one over there. This place is going to be like just an industrial heartland or something. Ooh, new farm, very unstable. Please do not touch. Hmm. I, I really want to, I really want to press the button. Oh no, I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't, no, I shouldn't. No, 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 no. No. He did, no, I won't do it. I won't, I know, I, I really want to. I really want to. I pressed all of these buttons in my other episode. I, no, I'm not going to do it. But there's lots of things here that we should be putting in Sahara that just aren't there because it takes a long time to load up. So one of the things that I'm going to do off camera is transport all of this stuff in glowstone form. I'll craft it all up and give it to Iskal to load up so I can be like a transportation person and we can start selling some redstone products. I could craft all of this redstone dust into various things. It could be very, very useful indeed. So that would bring Sahara's stock up to max capacity. I'm sorry, I've got to check this out. Oh, I don't... I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh, no! Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> he... 
I've been I've been mumboozled. It's like bamboozled, but mumboozled. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. My heart. My little heart. I thought I was going to die then. Okay. Uh, lesson learned. Lesson learned. Okay, Mumbo. I, I won't. No, no, no touching the buttons. No more touching the buttons. Okay. Oh, man. No more touching the buttons. I apologize. I apologize. I'll just pop that back. Oh, he even made... He did this in glass so that I wouldn't... Oh my goodness. Right, that's that's enough for me. I think that pretty much sums up my plans for Sahara. We're going to stock it and then next episode we are going to promote Sahara in ways that I bet would surprise you. So I'm going to think of every way possible to get Sahara on everybody's radar showing that it is ready to be shopped at because 28 diamonds or 30 diamonds roughly is it's a good start, but it's not stacks and stacks of diamonds, which is, you know, what we're really after. But I don't blame it, because we're not stocking everything that people need. We need more carrots, we need more rockets, we need a lot of everything. And that's going to take a lot of work. Hopefully combined work. And when, uh, I assume, we stock some logs and everything like that, people will start coming to Sahara a bit more seriously. But anyway, that's it from me, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It, it was a lot of messing around today, especially with my backward skin. But um, do let me know in the comments if that sort of thing was enjoyable to watch. Because I don't normally do stuff like that. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>